This video shows a screen capture of our user interface. The user loads in an input image, in this case a 180 degree fisheye lens, and starts clicking the endpoints of lines that are important in the image. Uh, our algorithm maps these endpoints to the sphere and then computes great circles between the endpoints and then plots those great circles back into the input image, which is why uh, the plotted lines match the input ones. When we draw this line, we notice that it doesn't exactly match up with the line in the image. So the user just adjusts the field of view, the single parameter that, just, that maps this fisheye to the great sphere so that it lines up well. The ability to adjust the field of view is a nice feature of our interface because we can take uh, images that were captured with unknown fisheye lenses uh, and usually we can map them to the sphere just by adjusting that one parameter using the arrow keys. The user draws a few more lines and then computes an initial result. We've gone ahead and cut out the computation phase of this video, so that's about a minute long. Uh, we've cut it from this video. The user then views the result. It's pretty good, but we see that things that the wall on the far left uh, is a bit tilted, so the user is going to iterate and improve the result. Uh, first step is to specify that some of the lines in the input should be vertical in the output. Uh, that's signified in the UI here by turning the lines purple. And we add a few lines as well. Uh, we're going to make the bottom of the couch linear and horizontal. We then go ahead and compute our second result and again we cut out the computation time. And here we see uh, the final mapped image. Now we just go ahead and crop uh, this fish uh, the, this result. Uh, you'll notice the field of view very wide because you can see the tripod legs at the bottom. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and crop this to a square image or a rectangular image uh, to get our final result that shows all four walls of a very small room into a single image. 